Welcome to a brand new video. I'm Alex Elliott, a Peter Gold professional. We're talking massive driver mistakes. Now, these are driver mistakes that I've been making because in the last few weeks, I've actually been struggling with driver. But after speaking to some of my clients, they have been making these mistakes as well. And it was actually quite funny. They didn't realize they were making the wrong sort of swings, the wrong start to the golf swing until I said. And I think that's just golf in general. Sometimes you think you're doing things right, but actually, unfortunately, you'll be doing them wrong. So we're talking driver. Three huge mistakes that are costing you off the tee. Isn't it funny? We often say driver show put for dough, but if you can't keep it in play, you are on to a wrong hole from the start. Right, before we get into today's video, it's getting close, isn't it? Next year, all the new product is coming out. Let's get down in those comments. Has anybody heard any rumors from Cobra, TaylorMade, Callaway on what clubs are coming out? Let's see if anybody's on the ball. The first massive mistake, and you don't realize you're doing this sometimes, either having the face pointing massively to the right as you're addressing the golf ball, or, and actually increasingly recently, this is the one I've been seeing that's quite common. Because we miss it off to the right, we try and close that face as a right-hander or take loft off that face, and that is just an absolute no-go. We can't go down this route because it makes it so hard to hit your driver when you're pushing those hands ahead, you're taking the loft, and you're trying to manipulate it at a dress to stop you missing it right. Number two on our list. Now, starting the swing wrong means you've got to compensate throughout. I, I, I hate this move, and this is the one that I'm guilty of. That toe of the golf club, and you can see this from the player cam here, overtaking that heel. Now what that's doing is massively opening that club face. The reason why I think this occurs is because the club's so long, we feel we have to swing it around ourselves, and as we do that, we open up that club face. Okay, avoid that at your peril. Whoa. Number three on our list, is not knowing what shape you hit. Now, you might think that's just for best level golfers, like single figure, but no. No matter if you have massive right to left curvature or left to right curvature, you need to know what comes out. That can really get into trouble, not knowing what curve comes out. This is going one step further. Let's fix those massive three problems. Now, you haven't heard of how you can fix it like this before on YouTube. It's simple, it's easy, it's no waffle, no rubbish what other people do. Okay, so I've just literally got my golf ball box on the floor here. This is to sort out your club face at address. What I want you to do on the side of the putting green, which we tend to do just before we go out and hit a few putts, just calibrate what a square driver looks like. What you're looking here from the player cam perspective is that top edge of the golf club to match the top edge of the box. Repeat that again. The top edge of the golf club to match the top edge of the box. We don't want it open. We don't want to de-loft it like this. They're the things they're trying to avoid. And that's so easy. Don't need to do anything else apart from have a box of balls. The most important part of the golf swing is controlling that first foot. Don't let the face open, don't let the face close. So, I want you to imagine, I mean, I put a tee peg here on the ground, but you could pick out a piece of dirt, you could pick out a divot, a leaf, whatever it is. When you're standing over the golf ball, I want you to stand here and think, okay, don't let the toe of the club overtake the heel. That'd be really open, as you can see on the play cam perspective. We don't want it to be the opposite, this way. What I want you to imagine, nice and simply, until those hands get up to hip height, don't manipulate the face. All I'm moving is this triangle between my shoulders. Just look at that. That's all I'm doing. And I really feel that first foot of the golf swing is the most important part. Move the triangle as slow as you can, and then you can get your speed to hit away. Really nice and easy. You control your club face down there. Puh. You're gonna have way more control. Think about this, right? How many times have you seen Justin Thomas out on the golf course do these waggles, 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 then hit? You can bring it into your game too. Number three, the curve on your golf ball. Okay, let's say one day you go out and you're bulleting it straight. That day you can aim down the fairway and you'll get the feeling of what the swing feels like maybe one or two holes in. 
I want you to do this, nice and simply. And actually, before we do that, if you're looking for some extra power at the end, I'll leave a, a really good video that I've done, which has gone down a storm actually, so check that out. So if you're a golfer who massively slices the golf ball, and honestly, sometimes you wouldn't believe the curve that I get on my golf ball, I have to aim considerably down this left half. So as you're seeing right now, sort of towards that tree slash the bunker for it to move in and come and hit the fairway. Other days, I feel like I can draw it. I might aim down that right-hand side of the hole and it comes back. But what I'm doing is I'm playing with what I've got on the day. And that's something that I think is valuable. Better players do it. Maybe high handicappers don't, but you should. Play with what you've got on the day. Don't try and fix your swing out on the golf course. Just play with what you've got. Okay. So as you know, sometimes I can draw it, most of the times I fade it. So I'm gonna aim at that bunker down the left hand side here and just let it come back in. The wind's off that left as well, so it's gonna help. Look at that, off the left. I mean, that's moving 20, 30 yards in the air, but I've hit that fairway. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and look forward to seeing you on another video.